Annapolis Charter School closed its doors for good. These are images inside the Him by Her Collegiate School for the Arts, which announced it was going to be closing right after Christmas. And that abrupt closure that was official today left many students scrambling to find another school right in the middle of the school year. For the first time tonight, our Lauren Costick speaks exclusively to one of the founders. Lauren, what have you learned? Well, and Felicia, this has definitely been a very hard and difficult day for them. Harry Dunn is a retired IMPD detective, and he wanted to create a school for kids struggling in his community. But now one of his greatest accomplishments has become a disappointment. And today we are with Harry as he took those final laps around the school today. And school leaders broke this news, like you said, during the holiday break, shocking many families who only had weeks to enroll somewhere else. The Car charter school is in Brightendale, Bright uh, Martindale, Bright and served K through six with more than 200 students. It had opened back in 2020, hoping to put students on the right path. And sa sadly, it got to the point where they simply ran out of money. We went out of business because we tried everything we could. We, we took every budget number that we could cut to squeeze it in to go another month. Why I'm having all these supporters saying, we're, 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 we're coming, we're coming, we're coming, and I'm going, I'm running out of gas, I'm running out of gas. And I ran out of gas. And I extend you my apologies. Go ahead, here you go. Harry says he understands people have a lot of questions and he's working to answer them. But in the meantime, his focus is still on the kids. The very reason he opened this school in the first place. And the good news tonight is that all the kids who went here have been placed in another school and same as those teachers. But Anna Felicia, this is definitely a hard day for the school and everyone who believed in it.